Could a man in jail for three cold case murders wind up being released before his trial? That's what defense attorneys for former Tucson fire captain David Watson are working on. Yeah, this is Watson on a big screen this afternoon while the Superior Court judge entered a not guilty plea on three charges of first degree murder. He's been behind bars on $2 million bond since his arrest a half a week ago. Now your side's Valerie Cavazos was in court and talked to one of his attorneys. Can you hear me, sir? Yes. Only a few words uttered by David Watson during his arraignment. Right, can you see your attorneys here in the courtroom? Yes. Those defense attorneys are Thank Natasha you. Ray and Michael Story, who are working fast to get Watson out of jail. We're certainly going to be filing a motion to try to have him released as soon as possible. Perfect world, we can have him resuming his job and getting back to the semblance of a normal life as his case pens. His possible release was the very reason Chief Deputy Chris Nanos had told us he would not reveal intricate facts in their investigation. We legitimately believe that we need to protect those out there in the community that may come out and testify against him. We do not believe uh, for one minute that he's not capable of doing some harm to them as well. Who are the detectives protecting? Both attorneys have yet to see all the evidence against Watson, which they expect to get in the next few days. They've pretty much interviewed everyone in the neighborhood where uh, these individuals lived. They've interviewed everyone that worked with Captain Watson, uh, anyone and everyone who might have some information. At this point, Watson needs $200,000 to post bail. We're going to ask to have it reduced, and of course, that'll be entirely up to the judge that it gets assigned to. His release would likely come with restrictions, she says. There's certainly the concern that he might be a flight risk, even though obviously those homicides occurred in Tucson. He's remained in Tucson for 14 years. Ray says Watson is not a wealthy man. She says he has retirement accounts and some property. Reporting from the newsroom, Valerie Cavazos, Kaga 9 on your side.